वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज हर्षद पारिक इन्वाइटिंग यू टू लिसन टू सम ऑफ माई स्पॉन्टेनियस शॉर्ट राइटिंग्स ऑन फिलोसॉफी रिलीजियन साइकोलॉजी स्पिरिचुअलिटी एजुकेशन नेचर एंड कृष्णमूर्ति आई होप यू हैव अ गुड लिसनिंग दिस इज ऑडियो टेप नंबर टेन आर्टिकल नंबर फिफ्टी टू इट इज अबाउट राम कृष्णा एंड विवेकानंद फ्रॉम वेरी यंग एज राम कृष्णा न्यू दैट हिज लाइफ वॉज नॉट मेंट फॉर ब्रेड विनिंग एजुकेशन ही रिफ्यूज टू गो टू एनी स्कूल टू लर्न हाउ टू फ्लेटर रिच पीपल टू अर्न हिज लिविंग He knew that his life was meant to see God face to face. He had tremendous intensity for this, which bordered on madness. Many people thought that he had actually gone mad in his intensity to see God face to face. Several years after he had realized. the true self or achieved a state of great happiness he said god can be seen and spoken with just as i am seeing you and speaking with you but who wants to do, do so people grieve and shed potfuls of tears at the death of their wives and sons and behave in the same way for the sake of money or property but who does so because he cannot realize god narendra who later became famous as swami vivekanand was about 18 years old when he listened to ram krishna vivekanand said when i heard these words of ram krishna the impression grew on me that it was not mere poetry or imagination couched in fine figures of speech that he was expressing like other preachers of religion but he was speaking that of which he had immediate knowledge which he had actually got by really renouncing everything and calling on god with all his mind narendra heard about ram krishna for the first time from mr hasty who was the principal of the college where narendra studied once mr hasty said in a class of english literature while discussing poems of wordsworth poets go into a trance while experiencing the beauty of nature that state is produced by purity of mind a person fit for such a state is rarely seen ram krishna paramhans is in such a state you will understand it if you go and see him narendra was impressed by ram krishna but narendra was skeptical too he had read a lot about western philosophy and psychology he was very proud of his knowledge and intellect only after he experienced something of mystical nature in the presence of ram krishna he understood that there are things which our intellect cannot understand <clears throat> article number 53 it is about a conversation with a medical doctor few days ago i went to see a medical doctor he was not interested much in talking about 
diseases and medicines. He asked me some questions about life and its meaning. He asked, what is the meaning or purpose of life? Does God really exist or it is a product of our thinking or imagination? Is it good to worship God or to help poor people, giving them free medicines and consultation? Is there reincarnation? Why honest and good people have to suffer so much in their life? The purpose of life is to live with peace and happiness. If worshipping God creates happiness in your life, it is good. After all, nobody knows if God exists or not. It is a subjective experience. Same thing about reincarnation. To be happy, we need to be in direct touch with thoughts and feelings. Generally, we create our own unhappiness when we do not understand how our mind works. To be happy, we need to see clearly how unhappiness is created. Fear, anger, jealousy, conflicts in relationship all come from ignorance of our own mind. It is possible to be free of unhappiness created by our own mind. But this is extremely difficult. Even good and honest people suffer from physical pain created by some diseases due to old age or addiction to smoking, drinking and drugs or due to pleasure of eating unhealthy food. Article number 54. It is about seeing everything as new. Two days ago, I shared a video of a little girl who was blind from birth. When new eyes were implanted, she began to see everything for the first time in her life and how curiously she was looking at everything. She did not have previous knowledge and that made everything look fresh and beautiful. She was smiling with a sense of wonder. When she will go to school and college, she will learn many subjects. Then she may lose that sense of wonder or just looking at everything flowers, moon, birds, rivers, and human beings, everything throbbing with life and strange beauty. I too lost that sense of beauty after going to school and college. The mind was filled with thoughts and everything looked very ordinary. Though I was a good student and also interested in reading religious spiritual books, there was no newness and a sense of wonder in looking at things in nature and people around. When I was working for a PhD degree in USA, I came across a book of Krishnamurti by chance. It was in 1972. The first book itself made me look curiously at thoughts arising within my, within my own mind. I also experience a state of mind without thinking. The body and brain became highly sensitive. I began to see beauty around me in nature, in colors and shapes. So it is possible to go back to that state of childhood when everything looked strangely beautiful and fresh. Knowledge can be there, but it will not interfere in looking at things in nature and in human beings. Only when such a thing happens 
to the brain of a human being he or she will know that psychological freedom freedom from the known is possible in spite of having knowledge we do not need to go to far away places to look and be curious about our own mind and life <clears throat> article number 55 is about a book on hindus in today's local newspapers there are two articles about wendy doniger and her book the hindus an alternative history one writer says that her views on hinduism are partial and perverted and so it is justified to ban ban her book in india the other writer says that she is a serious, serious scholar and knows more about hinduism than most scholars in india she has studied sanskrit deeply loves indian music yoga food and clothes and publish many books on hindu religion i feel that this book should be available in india and we must read it carefully with an open mind and we must not live with images about gods and goddesses hinduism is the oldest religion and it has survived in spite of many inv- invasions by foreigners in the past it has great depth and it attracts many people to india from other countries religion is not about worship of gods and goddesses but about how to live with clarity intelligence and love for life article number 56 it is about a strange experience in rishi valley uh, this is taken from my diary dated june 25 1995 every morning i go up a hill behind the dining hall to sit quietly and to do some simple yoga exercises before sitting quietly i remove my shoes specs watch and room keys and keep them away on a rock after completing the exercises i collect all these items before going back to my room on june 23rd i collected all these items before i started walking back to the valley after climbing down for about 10 minutes i realized that my watch was missing i quickly ran back to the rock where i had kept the watch my watch was not there but i saw some kites flying very close to the rock i believed one of the kites picked up my shining watch out of curiosity my watch was gone the kite would keep it in its nest away from all human beings for many years on june 24 i had to go to bangalore and so i could not go up the hill on 25th i went up the hill as usual on my way up i talked with the kite in my mind dear kite please bring back my watch it is of no use to you this is the only watch i have and i need it for my daily activities when i arrived at the rock up on the hill i saw my watch it was in a ditch between two rocks is it possible that the kite heard my prayer and brought the watch back to the same place is this a miracle is it possible to communicate with birds is it possible to communicate with trees and plants 
great spiritual teachers have been able to communicate with birds, animals, and trees. A best-selling book, The Secret Life of Plants, describes many experiments done by people on plants. According to them, plants respond to human feelings. Wise people perceive the whole consciousness as one undivided field. They say that all living things are interconnected by an invisible field. The empty space is full of thoughts and feelings of all living things. Those who are sensitive feel this field. Most scientists with rational mind discard this idea of one field interacting uh, all living things. They keep their feet on the firm ground of logic. It is possible that my watch was not taken by the kite. The watch slipped from my hand and fell in a ditch and I was not aware of this. This would be the simple explanation of this experience. Um, but in that case, I should have noticed the watch when I went back on the rock on June 23rd. I think it is best to keep our feet firmly on the ground of logic so that we do not live in illusions. But at the same time, our heads should be in the sky of imagination to explore the unknown world, the mystery of life and consciousness.